What is the empathy game? This is a favorite of mine from years and years and years ago. It's not new. Um, but I thought about it this morning for the first time in a long time because I had a little interaction with my lovely wife, a little argument, some might call it, with my lovely wife. And it was over the dishwasher and how we use the dishwasher. And we were struck by how entrenched and convinced we were, each of us, that our view was right on how to use this dishwasher. And they were opposing views and it got very passionate, I have to say. And uh, there's a lot of this going on, isn't there? There's, there's a lot of this going on at, uh, at a much deeper level, culturally, um, polarization, hardening, crystallizing of views. And so I thought I'd share this tool as a mechanism for freeing it up personally, because we're all guilty of doing this. Um, the situation in which you would use this tool is if you start to find yourself labeling the other person with whom you disagree as mentally unwell, as a crazy person, as, uh, as, as somehow, you know, um, disconnected from reality, lacking in common sense, all of these things. All of these in things indicate that most likely you have lost the capacity or the willingness to, uh, to actually see things in a different way. So this is a game, you know, don't treat it too seriously, but basically you're going to be that person. You're going to be that person, your enemy. You're going to be them and you're going to ha ask your partner to ask you questions about this hot topic that you disagree with them vehemently on. And the golden rule is that you have to justify their position and you can't justify it by saying, you know, because I... I'm stupid or I'm ill-informed or because I'm lazy or no, no, no. You have to really genuinely find reasons why you believe this and why you see things the way that you do. And you have to be as convincing as possible or else you lose the game. So what you will find is you will find if you do this for five or 10 minutes, it happens very quickly. You will find yourself relax you'll find yourself maybe even be able to think of the person in a less, with, in, a, in a calmer way, and, and, and possibly even start to just naturally operate with that person differently. So what I hear from people when we do this activity is actually I didn't need to do anything different because that person just started operating differently with me. Now, of course they didn't. What they did was they responded to how you were being with them and you're being different with them. Unconsciously, you're being different with them because you've given them more space. You've given them more generosity and more empathy. <clears throat> um, so I share that with you to use as you wish. It's a bit of fun. It's also quite profound. Um, take it as you will and have a great week. I'll speak to you next week.